now I would like to discuss with you all about the issue related to environmental and sustainability within the residential area. The purpose of doing this assignment is to fulfill the five goal of sustainable development goal. The goal are number six, clean water and sanitation, number seven, affordable and clean energy, number 12, responsible consumption and production, number 13, climate action, number 14, life below the water. Over the years, the technology has revolutionized the world and daily life. The technology has created the amazing tools and resources, putting the new and useful information at our fingertips. Since there are so many new technologies to keep track of, it can seem overwhelming to adapt to. The environmental and sustainability issue become one of the crucial topics that being discussed by all human beings. Generally, the sustainability is the ability of continue to define the behaviors indefinitely. The three main approach that relate with the environmental and sustainability are renewable resource, pollution, and also for non-renewable resources. In order to achieve the sustainability and environmental approach, the rate of harvest should not exceed the rate of regeneration for the renewable resources. Besides, the manufacturer must always make sure that the rate of waste generation from projects should not exceed the estimated capacity of the environment in terms of pollution issue. Now, let me introduce to you all what typical environment and sustainability issue that occur around my residential area. The emission of gas from the industry which caused the pollution issue take place. This is the typical problem that have faced by the residents nowadays. The manufacturing industry around the residential area has released a lot of toxic gases to the environment especially during the production process of the product. This situation called factory pollution. The most common factory in air pollutants are greenhouse gases from the burning of fossil fuels. The gas that released from the factory is typically greenhouse gases. The most damaging greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere from the burning of fossil fuel. The manufacturing industry and electrical generating factory has contributed slightly more than 50% of greenhouse gases. All of the toxic gases that release from the factory may cause ozone danger. The factories which particularly through the use of large industrial air conditioner which has released a lot of destructive gas. This may cause the depletion of ozone in the upper atmosphere where it needed. Basically, there are several reasons that cause pollution take place in my residential area. The first reason that cause pollution is due to the population growth. In real situation, the emission does increase as the population increase but not so fast. The term population growth is used to describe the situation which the number of people in the world or area has increased. About 1,800 billion of people will reach 1 billion and it is easy to reach 2 billion as the population growth is increased continually. 2 billion of population will become 3 billion in 30 years later. About another 14 years, the population will increase from 3 billion to 4 billion. Another 13 years, the population will gradually increase from 4 billion to 5 billion. The population growth rate in 2011 is 1.2%, while in the late 1960, the population growth rate is only 2.1%. Probably, what caused the world population continue increase even though the actual growth rate is low? Based on the research, the population increased by 1 billion people in every 13 years. In every second, minutes, there are people born or even dead. It is simple to say that about 1.8 people will dead per second and about 2.4 people alive per second. Today, the population is about 7 billion. 2025, the population would be increased to 8 billion. By 2050, another 1.5 billion population will be increased. It shows that the population growth of people increase every year. The relationship between the overpopulation and environmental pollution are interrelated. This is because the population growth means the requirement of the resource used to manufacture the product is increasing due to the high requirements of the user. The population growth caused by the pollution issue become more difficult to be resolved. The second reason that caused pollution issue in my residential area is economic growth. The economic growth is indirectly caused the growth of the manufacturing industry. At this situation, the increase of the industrial activity with high level of economic development did to increase in energy intensive production and also increase in pollutants emission. Other than that, the country GDP gross domestic product is mainly controlled in terms of agricultural, automotive, electronic, tourism, oil and gas sector. Some of the Malaysia's product would be exposed such as electronics, petroleum and also palm oil. Thirst, 
all of the activities that carry out when exporting the Malaysia products will indirectly cause the pollution occur to the environment. The more resource will be used as the input material for manufacturing the products. The growth of economic scale will result in a proportional growth in environmental pollution and the change in the industrial structure that would lead to the reduction of the pollution intensity. The burning of fossil fuels is considering one of the reasons that cause pollution issue in my residential area too. There are a lot of manufacturing industries that surround the residential area. Thus, this situation brings some issue for those who stay nearby the manufacturing industry. Actually, fossil fuel is the natural fuel such as coal, oil or natural gas which is formed in the million years of anaerobic decomposition of the organism. Now, if the fossil fuel is being burned in the world, then more than 5 trillion tons of greenhouse gases and carbon dioxide will be released to the environment. The fourth reason that causes pollution issue in my residential area is improper waste management. There are many different types of waste generated, which including municipal solid waste, agricultural and animal waste, medical waste, radioactive waste, hazardous and non-hazardous waste from the industry, construction waste and also food waste as well. The improper waste management may contribute to the creation of greenhouse gases effect. This can also lead to adverse health effects on humans as over the years it has been responsible for causing several diseases. The problem that occur are amount of waste product for disposal increase, water pollution, soil contamination and also air pollution. One of the problems that occur is the amount of waste increasing gradually every day. The increased amount of waste will indirectly increase the requirement of disposal area for the waste. The waste represents an enormous loss of resources both in the forms of materials and energy. Indeed, the quantities of waste can be seen as an indicator of the material efficiency in the society. The excessive quantities of waste result from inefficient production process low durability of goods and also unsustainable consumption patterns. Next, it is about the water pollution. The solid waste that generated may cause water and air pollution. Some of the waste like sewage slush and residue from cleaning of fuel gas in one of the reasons that cause pollution. The chemical waste that pour or release to the lakes or riverside includes the chemical byproducts from manufacturing facilities and laboratory smaller scale chemicals disposed of from business or even household. The chemicals then exposed to rainwater which cause them to be washed into soil or directly into the river streams or lakes. The eutrophication which is increased in the concentration of chemicals in the ecosystem which cause the pollution occur. The groundwater contamination also would take place in this situation too. The pollutants will get washed into the soil and quickly contaminates the water underneath. The human waste may also cause dangerous bacteria to spread if it contaminates the water supply. In many conditions, the welfare life would lose their clean habitat because the irresponsible human has destroyed their habitat. Sometimes, this situation may also cause the extinction of animal species. The soil contamination is also one of the problems that have by the environment nowadays. The soil contamination which occurs when hazardous chemicals came into the contact with the soil. Basically, the chemicals are absorbed by plants and crops which are later utilized by other organisms including humans which as a result can cause disease or even death. The pesticide and fertilizer also cause soil pollution. All of these chemicals would be make their way into the deeper layers of the soil and soil quality would be affected. The illness such as headache, dizziness, nasal irritation and lung disease would also encounter in the pollution issue that occur around the residential area. In order to reduce the waste produced and maintain the sustainability of the natural resources, there are three main types of approach can be applying in order to achieve the principle of environmental and sustainability. In 2009, the city passed a law requiring residents and businesses to sort their waste into recyclables, compostables and landfill trash. Recology is the private company that handles it all. Oh, nice. After the waste is ground up and screened for plastic and other bits of trash, the organic matter left over gets watered and aerated. A piping system then filters out dangerous greenhouse gases produced by microbes. In about 60 days, the compost is complete and sold to local organic farmers and vineyards. Heat is the byproduct of many industrial process glass and metal production. Thus, in order to reduce the emission of heat to the environment, it is important for that heat is converting into the electricity. As an engineer, the solution that can be done to solve this issue is by applying some scientific and technology concepts. 
this situation. This approach can be done by applying the steam by drive the turbine which in turn drive electric power generators. Nowadays, the modern technology able to convert the heat into the electricity. The efficiency of this invention comes to its two important features which are the gap between the material that absorbs the heat and the photovoltaic cell which convert its grow into the electricity. It is normally less than 1 micron or 50 times smaller than the width of a human hair. First, at this situation, the photons does not require to travel in a long distance. The photoelectric photons would also cool down to 30 degrees Celsius while the photons generating elements at the other side may be at 900 degrees Celsius. The temperature difference also would affect the efficiency. The energy product can be continuous. At this situation, it promised that this technology capable to work at heat as low as 100 degrees Celsius which will make it reduce the heat emission to the environment which then may be cause global warming. This is a pulse jet dust collector system. The contaminated air enters the system through inlet and pulses through the filter bags due to the use of buffer plate. The heavy particles fall down into the hopper and the lighter dust particles get deposited on the exterior surface of the bags allowing only the cleaner dust free air to pass through the filters and then upward in the clean premium. The clean air is then discharged outside which become general process that take place in the system when a certain label of deposit is reached on the filter bags. At this situation, a pressure is created and detected by a gauge fitted on the machine and this starts a process of cleaning of the filter bags. Air started in the head, the is released which is carried by the blow pipes. This high pressure air is then released in the filter bags one row at a time. This air passing through the filter bags releases the deposited dust and cleans the tars. Then, this process takes place at regular intervals of time and this allows the filtration process to run smoothly. The waste that we have here is just a mixture of all types of waste. You don't have to do a segregation when it comes to the Azure. Even when you look at this one, it's just a power bank battery. You can just drop it in, we can just put it into the Azure. Use plastics, cans, boxes, um, your general municipal waste from your household. Everyday waste, easily treated, you don't have to do any sorting. You put in a power bank, you can go. You put in a spray can canister, you can just go. All right. So, all this can go into the Azure easily, without sorting, without any segregations. And to operate the Azure, it's very easy. So all you need to do is just shove everything in, just push everything. The air shell now is operating about 400 to 500 degrees C and as you continue to use it, it will build up to 700. The next one goes up to 1100 degrees C maximum. The non-engineering solution that can be applied to solve air pollution is principle reduce, reuse and recycle. There are a lot of benefits of applying reduce, reuse and recycle principle. It is also known as 3R principle. All of these principles able to prevent the pollution that caused by reducing the need to harvest new raw materials. It also able to reduce the greenhouse gases emission which normally cause global climate change. Through these three principles, the amount of waste that generated would be reduced and this will also indirectly decrease for sending the waste to the landfill and incinerators. For example, the recycling approach which tends to reduce the energy usage, reduce the consumption of fresh raw materials, reduce the air pollution as well as water pollution. In order to practice this approach, first, the user needs to classify all the waste material before undergo process, reduce, reuse, and recycle. This is the crucial step that needs to be done before practicing the 3R principle. In conclusion, the Sustainability Development Goal SDG, is the approach or guideline that should be followed by all the humans in this world. This is because by applying this approach, it is able to achieve a better and sustainable future in all different types of aspects. As a responsible engineer, all of us shall use the scientific and mathematical knowledge, especially during the problem solving. For example, a responsible engineer would consider the SDG before they are taking any action in terms of problem solving. By applying the environmental and sustainable approach, I am here to confirm that our Earth will become zero pollution and all the natural resources will be used for last longer and our younger generation would also have the opportunity for utilizing those natural resources wisely without depletion. That's all for me. Thank you.